How's it going everyone? This is James back with another video. Today's topic is HUDs. If you've ever been watching Twitch poker or some videos here on YouTube, chances are you've come across a player with a bunch of numbers on their screen. If you're new to poker, you're probably a little bit confused about what they are. Luckily, you're in the right place, as I'm about to break down everything you need to know about HUDs and whether you too want one to help improve your game. So first off, HUD stands for Heads Up Display. These HUDs track the play of all the people on the table and represent in number form how they have been over the course of the hands you have played against them. To do this, certain statistics are created from the hand histories. There are three main programs out there on the market that are widely respected as the best out there when it comes to HUDs. Poker Tracker, Oldham Manager and Hand to Note. All three of these programs offer much more than just the HUD. They are great ways to track your winnings and losses, as well as places to group all of your old hand histories. With them, you can go over at a later date to maybe spot some leaks in your own play or on your opponents to mark them down later. In this example, we have the default preset HUD for Holder Manager 2. So once you set up Holder Manager 2, this is the default preset HUD. There are two lines of information. Let's go through the top line first. The little sticky note should be pretty obvious. This is where you can write all your notes down on the player. It's useful because you can write these notes away from the tables when you analyze some hands, rather than the usual note-taking system of poker stars, where you need to be at the table with them in live time. The next along is the tag stat. If you want, you can use any of the picture labels to help to describe to future you how you think an opponent is playing overall. For example, this dice tag might be useful for a player who likes to gamble a lot and go all in more often than the average player. The next one is player name. This helps you make sure the HUD is next to the right person. The last stat on the top line is perhaps the most important stat of them all, but we'll come back to that later after I've explained the bottom line of statistics. So the first number on this second line is probably the most used statistics in online poker and for good reason. Called Total Voluntary Put Into Pot or VPIP for short, this statistic is essentially how often does a player enter into a pot preflop in Hold'em. This can be by either limping, raising or calling. The number is a percentage of how often that player decides to enter the pot preflop. 100 would mean they enter 100% of the time and zero would mean that they never add money preflop. This stat is very useful to quickly spot who is being too loose, i.e. playing too many hands, and who, to a lesser extent, is playing too tight, only very strong hands. Next up is another commonly used stat, preflop raise. This number represents, again, in percentage terms, the amount of time someone raises preflop. Again, like VPIP, it can be useful to track who is raising a lot of hands and who isn't. Most players use VPIP in conjunction with PFR because it allows you to deduce how aggressive someone is preflop. If someone has a VPIP of 50, but a PFR of only five, you can tell that they play a lot of hands preflop, but only raise a very small amount of them. Very useful stuff. The next stat we come across is a little different and is actually a lot of statistics rolled into one, and is the total amount in percentage terms that you bet or raise divided by the amount of times you call. This stat is meant to give you a general indication of how aggressive a player is post-flop. High numbers, so free plus, mean they are betting and raising a lot more than calling, and low numbers, less than one, mean they are passive. I'm not going to go into too much detail about this stat, because I don't think it works very well in practice. I would recommend getting rid of it. The last statistic is another preflop one, total free bet. A free bet is when you raise another player's raise at the table preflop. This statistic can be useful but requires a little more sample than the previous. Again, high numbers mean they are likely to re-raise a lot, perhaps with questionable hands, or with low numbers, they never raise at all preflop and prefer to see a flop before putting additional money into the pot. Going back to the top line, I will now explain the most important statistic if you're going to use a HUD. Total hands. All statistics created are completely irrelevant if you don't have a sample to back it up with. 
Total hands is basically the sample size. The more hands you have, the more you can rely on the statistics on the bottom line of the HUD. Some stats need much larger hand samples than others. For example, a statistic like river check raise would require hands where the player gets the river and checks and has the chance of raising, which obviously happens a lot less often than the chance of them putting money into a pot preflop. As a general rule of thumb, I would not look at VPIP or PFR until you have at least 40 hands on a player. And for free bet, I would double the number of hands to 80. Even then, it's much more reliable to have a sample of 5,000 hands than just 40 or 80. And therefore, I would only look at the HUD if a player is way off from the norm for the game you are playing. I encourage everyone who's watched this video to at least try out using a HUD. Let me know in the comments whether you use one or not and why. In the next video, I'll be going through our free spin and go HUD, explaining all the stats and why they're useful. Make sure you're subscribed so you can watch it when it comes out. If you'd like our free spin and go HUD, come over to our Discord channel where we talk all about poker and how to win in the games on PokerStars.